finally we closed escrow. Five escrows later, it was a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some things that we learned during this transaction. Remember what I told you first transaction? We got an offer within like the first week. You're super excited, and what did I tell you? Don't get excited. Don't fall in love. Please don't fall in love with these people because the real estate business is crazy and people come and go at any time and they can cancel on us at the last day of our escrow. Mm -hmm. So we learned that lesson the hard way, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And so we had to go through five people until we got the group right. that finally paid us, thank God. Mm -hmm. um, so talk about like the first escrow and what your thoughts were when we went through all that. Well, because we are the people that we are, we try, we thought that you know they were gonna make it through, and they did it. Uh, their agent actually was a nightmare. Yeah. So first escrow agent was a nightmare. Lender was lying to me the whole time, telling me that this deal has been progressing. We're we're doing everything we can. We're working on the loan. Please be patient with us. And finally, after the appraisal was a week late, I was getting really frustrated and wanted to cancel on these people. You were a lot nicer than me. Even on escrow number two, coronavirus hit. Mm -hmm. uh, our well, buyer lost their job. Twelve days off away from escrow closing. That's right. So. You were so nice and sweet because you were wanted to them to get rehired and get back to normal in the coronavirus. Nobody's ever seen this before, so we didn't know how long this person was going to be out of work for or what was going to happen. So that was extremely frustrating, but we had to learn that like we don't know when this situation is going to end, so we need to pivot to somebody better that can give us money soon. So um, the entire time, we were always like two weeks away should we stay with them for two weeks or should we start over and do a whole new escrow? So I thought that was really frustrating as well. Um, what else? What number, else? Number three was short-lived. It was like the the uh, murder of hornets. You, know, <laughs> you didn't hear very much about it and he was gone in a second. Yeah. Number four was, um, number four was, oh. Pretty uh, pleasant. No. Uh, other than the last the part day, where you wanted to uh, go conventional rather than change the loan. A uh, day before escrow was supposed to close. Yeah, so fourth escrow, we had our buyer. We we're day 29 of a 30 day escrow. We think everything's going well. We think we're going to be closing soon. The lender's working a little bit behind schedule, but was telling me, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then next thing you know, they decide to switch their loan from an FHA loan to conventional loan. That alerted me that their financing is not as strong as we originally thought, as we were told. Right. So let's cancel on these people. So we learned how to say next. Yeah. And so we became cancel pros, unfortunately. Yes. We know yes. how to cancel. We know when to cancel and when to ditch people. Yes. I just don't think that it, it normally wouldn't take this long to sell a house, but it means that we got caught in this virus thing and just uh, was something that nobody should live through, like, no one trying to sell a house. Yeah, like, one minute we're selling the house, the next minute, oh, we're canceling. One minute we got another offer, the next minute we're canceling. So I could see how it would be extremely frustrating for both of you guys. Right. Aaron, let's talk about your work too. The first escrow we were really close to closing, and so you put in your two weeks notice at work, yeah. and then we had to go back to them and say... Well, I had already put in my notice, and I had already quit. Oh, wow. Job. So. I was already out of a job and ready to go the couple days uh, after Ed, the escrow was supposed to close, we were, we were going to move. Um, I basically had to go in and, and beg for my job back and uh, they were very pleasant and because I'd worked there for so many years that they said, all right, we'll take you back, no problem. And just another stressor added on to the whole transaction, you know? And now we have bills for this house and we have bills for our new house that need to be paid right. for because they bought another house in Arizona already. So the, the problem is, is I have a job waiting for me in Arizona, but Arizona doesn't pay the wages that California do. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be able to afford both payments on both houses mm -hmm. on Arizona pay. Mm -hmm. so, I couldn't just leave this one and go there, so I see. we had to actually stay here through, through the whole uh, transaction. 
And so you guys packed up most of your stuff. Most of you guys, you guys had like nothing in the closets, nothing in the kitchen. Right. They were living out of suitcases and boxes basically yeah. for six months because this kept happening where we thought we were gonna move and then coronavirus, somebody's job, you know, yeah. fires them or something. And so now we have to start from scratch. And so yeah. that was extremely tough. Yeah. And I'm sorry that you guys had to go through all that. <laughs> So where's our, where's our champagne? <laughs> <laughs> I did work at oh. <laughs> before noon, dang, all right. Um, but yeah, any other, any other thoughts or about the whole transaction? Do you recommend me in the future by any chance? To who? To anybody, oh. everybody selling real estate? Um, your, 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 um, you are right on. Everything that you did, Very everything that you, yeah, everything. everything that you said, you fought for us. So I would recommend you. Um, we just need to let them know that you're strong and that you are not going to back down from anything or anybody. Right. And so most of our problems were our fault, not yours. So. It's the transaction. It's yeah. just you know, yeah. this is it's going to happen in 30 days, and then week three they change it all up on me. You and know, we we like. We could have, probably could have made it happen a lot faster, but we were the we were the anchor that was like holding you back because he wanted us to cancel on the first try, and we held it out for probably maybe like two four weeks, weeks maybe, or maybe, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a long time. Days. Wow. Yeah. Sixty-seven days was the first one, and the other one was maybe. 17 days and then the next one was four days and then the next one was 30 days it's been almost eight months wow from Great. december 6th to Great. now yeah. yeah long time we just like at the beginning of the first one we oh i i should say i i felt that maybe we wouldn't be able to get another buyer for the the price that they were offering but lo and behold it's like the next time we put it on the market, it every like, time it went up, every time uh, it went up, up higher, higher, and higher, and it kind of gets in your head, like, okay, I can get more money. But mm -hmm. sometimes the more money is not the greater thing. Sometimes the best buyer is the exactly, the yeah. So, so price isn't always the the determining factor right. on picking the offer. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's just like how much money do they have in the bank? How strong are they? Do they want repairs? Do they right. not want repairs? Right. right. Um, but yeah, that was, I'm glad you said that. Um, on that note, did we have to do any repairs on this property before we sold it? It's there not we that we didn't have to, I wanted to. So we fit, so on the first escrow, we did do repairs because that was a traditional escrow. Right. Right. Coronavirus hadn't hit yet. Right. Um, but going back to your point, every single time we relisted the home, the values were going up. Right. We actually went through a housing shortage because of the coronavirus. So every time we listed their house for sale on the market, we put it for like five grand more each yes. month. And the market was supporting that. Every time we put it on the, yes. the market, we got six or seven offers. Right. So getting the home into escrow was not the difficult part. It was just getting offers wasn't the difficult part. It was just getting a buyer that could, their lender could perform right. and stick to our time frame. And not being liars. Yes, and not liars. Liar. Yeah, so, you guys are great. You're super nice and wanting to stay with the buyers was super sweet. And I'm just more ruthless, cutthroat. Like, this is what we have to do to go get your money. He you really gotta get rid of these people. So, he really you know, is. We, we should have followed your lead from the get It's okay. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Yeah. Every transaction is different. I don't have the crystal ball, I don't know everything about everything, you know. And so, we just do the best that we can with the information that we have. Right. And we hope and pray that no lenders are lying to us and right. telling us that, you know, the loans, the loans weren't working on it. No problem here. Right. So, anyway. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.